Hello my beautiful and smart viewers, welcome to our new video. Today's video is going to be very interesting, and maybe a little long, but don't panic, it won't be as long as you thought. Anyway, leave it, we come to our point, so today's video, I will tell you how you can free up maximum disk space on your computer laptop, right? Actually, I will tell you some 5 to 6 settings, and after doing these settings, believe me, your system will also be even faster than before. So let's start the video without any delay. The first way delete all temporary files. Now the question will come to your mind, what are temporary files? Temp file temporary file in the computer is also called a temporary file. Temp files in the computer can be created due to many reasons. When we download anything, open an application, file or document on a computer or laptop, then a temp file is created in our system. These temp files are saved on the hard drive of the computer. Similarly, every day hundreds of temp files are created in our system and saved on a hard disk. Due to being saved in the hard disk, our system becomes very slow, and we start facing many problems in working. In such a situation, it is beneficial to delete these temp files only. If we keep on deleting these temp files that are accumulating in our system from time to time, then our system will never slow down. To delete temporary file, press window key plus R in your system. After that the run box will open on your screen, then here you have to type percent %tmp%. After that do OK. So here you can see, as soon as you do OK, a new file will open to you which are temporary files, then press the shortcuts key, Control plus A, select all, and press the simple delete button. Pressing the delete button. All temporary files will be deleted. OK. After doing this, you have to come back to the desktop. Once on the desktop, refresh your system. After refreshing, Again press window key plus R in your system, now time you have to type temp here. And again click on the OK button. By clicking, another file will open in front of you. After that again press the shortcuts key, Control plus A, press the delete button, and delete all. Let's move on to the third set. Before making the third setting, refresh your computer once again. After refreshing, press window key plus R again. This time you have to type prefetch here, then OK. Then click on continue. OK. So this is that file. Automatically starts running while the system is on, and which also slows down the performance of our system and also uses a lot of disk space, so again we have to select all these files together. Press the shortcuts key, Control plus A, press the delete button, and delete all. Another way empty your recycle bin whenever we delete any folder or file from our computer, then these files and folders get deleted from here, but they are stored in the recycle bin. If ever we need this data again, then that data can be restored again from the recycling bin. But when your data is not important, then we should empty the entire recycle bin, because it takes a lot of space in our system. For this, you should go into your recycle bin. Once you're in the recycle bin, all you have to do is select simple, all at once. And press the delete button from your keyboard. Here you can see about 10 GB of space is stored in recycle bin, simple continue here. Your system's recycle bin will be deleted our four settings were successful, I hope that. In your system, some space must have been freed, please tell in the comment box. So let's go to our next setting. So let's go to our next setting, you have to go to the simple window. And here, search for disk cleanup here, and double click on it. Here you can see that, select drive you want to clean up, you can clean any disk drive from here. But for now, we'll just clean the C drive. 
then from here, tick it all. After that, click on Clean Up System Files. Here's your disk, cleanup happening has started. Okay, after this is done, let's move on to our next setting. Delete unused and unnecessary applications. So come back to the desktop once again, and then press Window plus R together, and the control panel search here. Then OK. And the control panel will open in front of you. From here make the icon large. From here you, click on uninstall the program. Here you can see, my laptop has a lot of software and applications. Even if you have, and among them, are there software or applications that are unnecessary or unusable, which you do not use. So please, uninstall such applications from here. Because there is no point in keeping them unnecessarily which is of no use. So let's go to our next setting. Clear history and data of web browser OK. Open your Google Chrome, from here go to Settings. After going to Settings, go to Security and Privacy, and then, from here, click on Clear Browsing Data, and from here, you have to select according to your needs. If you have saved the password then you have to keep these two on tick, otherwise, all your Google accounts will be signed out, then clear all data, similarly, if you have to clear the history from other web browsers, then this is also a way. To make the system space free and make it fast, we sincerely hope that the video must have been helpful to you, if yes, then do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment and tell on which topic the next video should be brought, so thank you for watching my video, see you in the next video.